I'm here at one of my favorite places, the Ontario Science Centre, to experience Immerse 2016. It's all about immersive technology. And I'm ready to get immersed myself. What is Immerse 2016? A, a lot more than Immerse 2015. Well, congrats. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Um, well, what it is, it's a partnership with the Ontario Science Centre. What we do each year is we put on an event, an industry building event, where we get the top people from all over the world to educate each other about virtual reality, augmented reality, and immersive technology. But what makes this edition very special is for the first time we put on a giant public exhibition to showcase all kinds of virtual and augmented reality technology for the general public. And the response has been spectacular. Why do you think now VR is catching on in the way that it is? What was the sort of leap that brought us here? So the, sh the short answer is technology. The slightly longer answer is the ability to do something that people don't get nauseated with has only been recently possible both because of the display technologies and because of the processing power, the GPU and CPU. This past two years, we've reached that point where it's possible. You're using virtual reality to do something creative. Tell me about what you've done. Uh, when I was approached by Google to do virtual reality, they simply told me that one, one joystick will be your brush, another will be your palette, and that's what you do. And I came there and I realized there's a lot of colors, there's a lot of possibilities to work large. And uh, being a sculptor, I found a couple of uh, three-dimensional brushes where I can build objects. Virtual reality for me now, it's an option to work large. What's the difference between a, a VR arcade like you guys have set up versus, you know, the arcade that I remember playing like Aerosmith's Revolution X at? You know, people really want to be in the game. They want to be the hero. They want to be the one actually shooting the zombies or shooting, you know, their friends. Right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, in the past it was mostly like you're going to see, you know, somebody else doing those things where here, those bullets are flying at you. And yeah, y you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what advice can you give me before I jump in and try to win paintball virtually? You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna duck and dodge and dive. You know, all those five Ds of dodgeball yeah. all apply to I this. There we go. <laughs> oh, nice. That was the best first-person shooter experience I have ever had in my life, and I have played so many first-person shooter games. That was so amazing. I could see the other person in there. I could see the other guys. I could move around. I could pick things up, put things down. I could duck and move around. I, how can I go back to anything else after that? <laughs> and I probably look like a raccoon. <laughs>